Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Poundland haul. So let's get cracking. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> Um, I've been sort of um, missing a little bit, haven't I? I'm really sorry about that. I've been fine. I've just been having interviews and what have you. Um, and sorting out files and things for kids at the nursery. Because if you don't know, I've been made redundant. But I have picked a job, right? I've, I was given quite a few offers. Um, so I went for interviews at different nurseries and um, actually I was really fortunate. So I was given an offer by every nursery that I went to, right, which um, what came as a very big surprise in all honesty. Because um, I'm very sort of introverted, so I always worried that I don't come across very well in interviews, you know. But anyway, I was very, very fortunate to get given an offer from each of the nurses that I interviewed for and I have picked one that I'm going to and I start in two weeks so that's super super exciting I'm now at the point where I just can't wait to get on with it you know and move actually um, the good thing is a couple of my pals one's already had an interview there as well and um the other one's been so um has been sort of promised an interview so fingers crossed a couple of my really close pals will also be moving to that nursery um it's also literally nearer than me other nursery right so i just have to cross the road and go up another road and that's it i'm there right so no traveling or anything else so, because I've been busy doing interviews and what have you, and sort of, uh, I like to say, files and getting everything up to date so that I can leave and the kids will all have their files, um, I've just been slightly snowed under. But yesterday, um, I'm filming this on Sunday, so yesterday I went over to town um, and uh, Bradford, you know, um, and had a really nice look round. I went and had some. Uh, soup for my lunch in Marx's. Um, it's quite hard to get plant-based food when you're out and about, I think, sometimes. so. But Marx's have always got something really nice. I, I usually either go for the jacket potato with beans <laughs> or I go for soup and a roll. Okay, so I went for the soup um, and it was lovely and I had a coffee and just had a really nice day out, you know, a really, really nice day out. The sun were really sort of high in the sky, felt it were lovely and warm. Um, so, yeah, I had a really nice walk around and what have you. So I went to Poundland while I were over there. I did need some cleaning stuff and some sort of toiletries and bits and pieces. So I'm really pleased that I called in. Although after that, I did go to one bargain, so... I'll film the own bargains um, haul as well today. So I've got some content to go up. And I've also um, already filmed yesterday when I got back some other videos. Um, so I've got plenty to, to go up because I, because I haven't been filming anything. Things have been sitting here waiting for me to crack on with it, you know. But anyway, I'm getting there. We're getting on with it. Um, so yeah, so let me put my gigs on and I'll show you what I got from Poundland. Are these clean? Ish. They'll have to do. You know what I mean? Right, okay. So first up, I got this really pretty bag. All right. There were a few of these different bags on the, um, uh, the checkout. And I'd taken bags with me, but I'd filled them up in different other places. So, didn't have any bags. So, the lassie said, I said, can I have one of those bags? She went, which one? I said, that really jazzy one. And at the time, I couldn't see what they were. But they're those, uh, I can't remember the name of them now. Macaroons, macarons, whatever they were calling them. Now, I just love them. I thought they were dead pretty. Right, so, um, nice shopper. I'll take it into work because I've got quite a few bits that I've got to bring home from work um before i start you know before i leave and what have you anyway let's have a look what i've got in here 
Got myself some toilet paper. This, uh, I'm going to put price on screen because I can't even remember. It was not £1.79. But I pick some up whenever I go anywhere so that my little cabinet's full and I don't run out anymore. So uh, they did have um, a cheap one that I've had before. But when I seen they had an Andrex in just a two roll, I thought I'm getting it. Yeah, I'd rather have the Andrex. Although I do always feel guilty about the fact when my kids were little, we never had Andrex. You know, I just got the cheapest stuff. Um, but, you know, I was trying to weak out money as far as possible, um, you know, when my kids were little. Mm, in order to buy food, um, basically. But anyway, I got myself some Andrex. I also got myself some kitchen roll because I'm right down on my kitchen roll. Sorry, my arm's not in its brace or anything. So it'll be flopping around all over the place. I still can't lift it or what have you. But, you know, um, what can you do? You know, I, I, when I've got my brace on, I'm able to actually use it a lot better. So that's good. Anyway, yeah, got myself some of these super absorbency uh, kitchen towels by Magnum. Yeah, it's all right. It's quite a bit on it, you know. I didn't want to get the, they had packs of three, but I knew I'd have to carry it back, you know. So um, I just get the smaller ones so that I'm not laden down with all these bags while I'm out and about. So anyway, got that. Got some envelopes. So I realised I didn't have any at all. I asked the lassie um, in there and she went, they're right there. Okay, so um, yeah, fabulous. 20 DL envelopes. Peel and seal. Oh, good, even better. So, yeah, got those. They're just white envelopes, but I needed some. So, um, yeah, got those. Then I bought a pack of these. Now, I absolutely love these. I've had them before. Um, they're great. And uh, the fabulous at the moment for me, um, with me one handedness, right? Because you get one that goes on your hand. Let me open it. Right. So, these two little ones. I've used up my other ones. I've got elastic on the back, right? Which is great because I can put them over the good hand and get myself washed without worrying that I'm going to lose it or drop it, right? So there's two little ones like that that have got quite scrubby on them. And then there's this one that you can put on, on your hands. So it's got a softer side and then a rougher side for sort of exfoliating I think they're great, fabulous for at this time where dropping things and what have you sort of happens quite a lot. The other thing is washing this armpit, look at that, look how easy it is with this. Whereas um, clots and stuff, trying to keep them and use them is quite difficult. So um, yeah, I mean, it's easy to do this one, the dodgy one, but not so easy to do this one. So, yeah, got those. Absolutely love them. I had them before and I will get them again. I only need them periodically because there's three of them. So, they do last quite a while, you know. But eventually, they go really, like, grubby and the exfoliating bit don't work anymore. You know, it's a bit too soft at that point. So, that's when I get rid of them. Got myself a crossword book. Okie dokie. This is just for me, right? But sometimes I'm sitting, like, uploading things um, and can't use sort of me online stuff because I'm busy uploading things. And then I think, what am I going to do with my hands? You know, right? And there might be something on TV, but I, I feel like I want something to be doing, you know. So got myself this crossword book. I hope it's all right. Uh, over 150 puzzles. Okay, this should take me a while. Um, highest female voice, seven letters. Soprano, is it? Is that right? Could be, I don't know. Anyway, right, that's um, my crossword book. That were only a quid. I think the word search and stuff, but I don't get on with them so much. I like a crossword. Like to get my head thinking, you know. Then I bought these, because I wanted to take them in for glasses at work. You get five mugs of Nescafe Gold Latte. You could get like vanilla latte and all sorts, but I didn't know whether they'd like that. There were caramel lattes as well. So I just thought I'd take these ones in. 
Thought they might be nice, you know. Put them in um, staff room for lasses from baby room. Look, there's enough there for everybody. For each, one for each of them. It just keeps them going, doesn't it? You know, it's nice to take bits in, isn't it, for your pals at work. Particularly when it would run like one pound thirty-five or something for a whole box of them. So everybody can have a treat and it's only cost me just over a quid, you know. Um, but I do like to take bits in. It's nice. I took in biscuits the other day. After I'd been for an interview um, that had gone really uh, well, but it isn't the job I've taken anyway. I thought, I'm waiting for a bus to get me back to um, work. And it said 15 minutes for the bus. So I went into Home Bargains and picked up um, some packs of biscuits and took them in. They have all gone now. Are <laughs> you okay? All said biscuits have been eaten, but um, it's nice because it keeps them going, you know. Also got these humbugs. Now, in all honesty, I'm taking them into work, but it's me that loves them in humbug. Right, I absolutely love them. They're only quid these. I do like one, you know, when I'm at work. I'd much rather have a mint than a biscuit, me. Um, so, yeah, um, it says vegetarian friendly. Good. So I'll take the whole thing. The lasses are probably eat them as well, but it's me that proper craves them when I'm at work. I took polo mints in, a pack of five tubes of polo mints, and they've all gone as well. And polo mints are not the most exciting mints, are they? Um, but we still managed to get through them, so I'm absolutely certain we'll have these eaten in about two days flat. Um, but anyway, that's for everybody at work. Mainly me, but um, everybody else can have them. Okie dokie. Oh, sorry, that's off me um, scrubby things. Then I got this. Right, now this were in sale. And I bought it in a 16 to 18, but it was uh, £4. But I thought it'd be great, right, as a spare pyjama top. Okie dokie. I don't think that's where it's supposed to be. I think it is, in fact, supposed to be an actual top. But it's super soft. And I've got like, um, I've got long pyjama bottoms, but they've got quite filled in tops. Sometimes I want a long pyjama bottom, but I don't want a filled in top at this time of year. Um, you know, so I thought, oh, get this. This will be great. Like, say, £4. What were it originally? Does it even say? £6 originally. So... It wasn't that much off, but I did think for four quid, I thought that's okay. Like I say, super soft, it's just got a frill round bottom. I won't bother trying it on. It's one pyjama top. Um, but yeah, I liked it. They had some clothes in that I didn't really rate, you know. I'd just been to um, Primark, and the clothes at Primark were cheaper. And at H&M, the basics, basics, at H&M were cheaper than the ones at Poundland and like so much better made, you know. Um, a lot of the stuff that they had in this time were just, at, no, I wasn't going to pay the price for it. I didn't think it was worth it, you know. I don't know what's happening to Poundland clothes or whether it's just that in Bradford we've now got a Poundland that's got a massive clothing section. So I'm seeing more of the um the less well finished stuff whereas before you just had a tiny little range in bratford in the um one in the sort of the clothing section in the kergate center um so yeah i'm not sure whether it's just i can see a bit a bigger range and i'm aware that they're not as well done but like um a set of pajamas were like that was the cheapest thing, really. A set of pyjamas was £7. But you can get really nice ones at Primark for eight quid. You know, for a little shorty set of pyjamas. And I would have much rather paid the extra pound and got them from Primark. Because they just looked so much cuter and um, more nicely sort of made. They had dresses, but they were like £16 for a dress at Poundland. I thought that were quite pricey for what they were. The fabrics didn't seem that nice either. So I left everything like that and just stuck with my one pyjama top. Right, next up I got myself some deodorant. I have no idea where my other one of these has gone. I've got a little one in this, um, I think the classic one. 
Um, but I, I must have put it somewhere and I can't for the life of me find it. So I, all I've got were one that were almost run out. Um, so definitely I had to get myself some more. So when I seen they had a big one, see, I've, I've already put it on today. Right, when I seen they had a big one, I thought, yeah, I'm going for that one. Um, 48 hours. Whatever. I like Dove. I think it smells nice. So got myself that one anyway. And really pleased I have got it because being without deodorant, it's like being without a toothbrush, or two things that I just cannot be without. Then I got myself some more kitchen foil, 12 metres. Um, I've still got a bit, but, um, I, you know, I was starting to run low a little bit. So, yeah, I got this one. Thought it was all right. Run it back away to summer. So just picked up whichever one were there. No, well, that's that one. Then I got myself these bin bags. I got the, these were more pricey, but they are the thickest ones they had. 45 extra strong refuge sacks with a flat top. All right, so there's no ties or anything on. By Mighty Power, Jumbo Roll. Let's have a look. Yeah, I just wanted some thicker bin bags because carrying stuff down to the bin, when you've got a super thin bin bag, I end up with it splitting. Wow, they're not that thick. Blinking heck. No, they're not. They're quite thin. Oh my goodness, I think I've been duped on that. They are very, very thin. They're not as thin as some of the other ones they had there, but they are quite thin. Yeah, I might have to double bag things still, even though that it says they're super, like, strong ones. Bought myself some more um, soap powder. Just picked up these aerial pods because... It was the smallest box they had. And that'll last me a month, that. You know, 12 pods will definitely last me a month. There's only me. So, um, yeah, I quite like these aerial ones. I think they look pretty and they seem to smell quite nice as well. There we go. They really, <laughs> they smell really, really nice. I, I tend to get these in bold now because neither of those irritate my skin. So, um, and I don't try anything else just in case it does. But um, yeah, I got those mainly because it were a small box. But I think they're about three fifty for just twelve. So it wasn't super cheap or anything. Then I bought some birthday cards because there's a few people I know, you know, like at work, got birthdays coming up, and these were three for two, or a pound each so basically two pound for three cards so i got this one i think they're just blank inside they are look they haven't got any writing in um it's your birthday holy guacamole with an avocado on slightly bent now just plain inside and this one oh la la this one my favorite one just so really cute and that is just plain white inside but yeah uh, they've all got pretty envelopes. You could have picked all sorts of envelopes as well. I just got three random ones. Um, so I've got some in for my pals at work and things for the birthdays. Because even though I'm changing jobs, the fact is that I'll have new pals at my new place and I will still be in touch with my old pals. So more birthdays coming up, you know. And then I got these like paper plates because I thought they were really pretty. And I couldn't resist. I don't know what on earth I'm using him for. Um, perhaps when I make myself a sandwich and have some crisps on the side. Um, but I just thought they were super pretty and they were only like a pound. And they are compostable, so fabulous. Eight paper plates. No doubt at some point I'll, I'll have like every pot in my house waiting to be washed up. And I'll be very happy that I've got a paper plate, you know. But I did think they were really pretty. They had all different ones in um, of like kiddies type. But um, these were more or less the only adult sort of looking ones. Although kiddies could have those as well, couldn't they? They're just flowers. Super pretty anyway. So I got myself those. And then I bought this all butter fudge. Now I absolutely love fudge. And I was super hungry at the time when I went into Poundland <laughs> because... I've not yet been to Marx's and had my soup. So I think that's what swayed me into getting this. 120 grams, this is. Let's have a look at it. So open it. Take it into work. It'll be fine. Add that or I'll eat it myself. 
I know it's not like um, plant based, but just ever so every so often, it's nice to have a treat, isn't it? All right, there we go. That's your little baggy of fudge. The box looks more impressive than the bag, I have to say. Are these soft fudges are hard. They're reasonably hard, okay. But um, they've still got some springiness to them. So they're not rock solid. Um, I'll just take that bag into work and stick them in the drawer. At some point, somebody will eat them. Probably me. But um, yeah, so those are all my things that I got at Poundland. Um, half of our Poundland um, that's on Foster Square in Bradford is clothing. So if you're not picking up clothing, it's not that massive of a store. And the shelves are quite spaced out and don't seem to be like full. I think I, I used to be able to pick up more stuff in the one at the Kergate Centre, which is an actually a smaller shop. Um, so next time I might just go there, but I did want to have a look around the clothing section. Although, like I say, I didn't rate it, not at all. Um, my throat's quite sore. I'm sorry if my voice sounds bad as well. Um, I did have a virus. That was the other thing last week. Having said that bad luck comes in threes, I then had a virus that was quite bad. So um, that contributed to me not sort of uh, getting on and filming. But anyway, I'm on the tail end of it now. So hopefully that's it. My three uh, bits of bad luck. My arm, my redundancy and a virus. Hopefully I'm through it all now and that's the end of it. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box. Just in case you want to contact me for any reason. I'm out of breath just sitting here. That's bad, isn't it? I need to get some exercise. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!